What's going on team? Hope you all guys are having a great time. It's Rafael here and in this video I want to go over some basics. So yeah, let's talk about Forex. Forex is the shortened word of foreign exchange as you all know. And whenever you do Forex trading you are a foreign exchange trader. Or you can call yourself a foreign exchange currency trader. And as a Forex trader you trade the value between two currencies. We call these forex markets currency pairs it is always one currency against the other for example the euro versus the US dollar we are trading based on that exchange rate that you can see on the right side of the screen and we try to make a profit by buying before the exchange rate increases or by selling the market before the exchange rate decreases that's it and the next thing I want to talk about is accounts the there are two different types of accounts you can choose between a live account and a demo account if you are trading a live account you put real money in the game so whenever you take a trade it is your money that you either win or lose before you put your real money into the game you should always start with a demo account demo means demonstration so with a demo account you trade with fake money to get started with trading and to learn everything. And if you are able to be consistently profitable on the demo for a few months or a few weeks and you feel ready to play with real money, then you switch over to a live account. And that's what this course is going to help you with. To put money into your live account, trade it and then withdraw your profits. That's how it works. Next thing I want to talk about is the main chart. The main chart is simply the chart that you look at when you are trading. It is the chart where you see what the price is doing. That's it. Next thing is currency pairs. We have a couple of different currency pairs as you can see on the right side of the screen. Each currency pair got its own chart for what price is doing. The chart that you see shows us the exchange rate of the euro versus the US dollar. And how it works is, for instance, 1 euro equals 1.11060 US dollars at the time where I took this screenshot. And that's how the exchange rate works. If we take a look at the euro New Zealand dollar, 1 euro equals 1.16801 New Zealand dollar. It's just that simple. We have these different currency pairs and we make profits based on the exchange rate going up or down. And that's it next thing I want to talk about is price candlesticks a candlestick got four components we are going into details in a second let's take a closer look at the euro US dollar and check the candlesticks these candlesticks represents what price did within a certain period of time so the certain period of time is determined by whatever time frame you're looking at the chart in this case we are looking at the 4 hour chart which means that each candlestick on the chart is 240 minutes worth of price data. Let's take this big candle on the left side as an example. The first component of a candlestick is the open of the candle. The candle opens at around 1.11275. Check the yellow arrow. Then the price made the low of that time period at 1.11020. Check the red arrow. Then price shoots up to around 1.12 and forms the high. Check the orange arrow. And then finally the candle closes at 1.11770 after 4 hours of price movement. Check the blue arrow. So the four components are the open, the low, the high and the close of the candle. Or you can call it the open, the close, the body and the wicks. The candlesticks on the chart represents price. You are going to learn how to read them in another lesson. Next thing I want to talk about is time frames. The time frames are on the top left corner in trading view. Trading view is what I use for my analysis. You can choose between all sorts of charts from one minute per candle to one day, one week or one month per candle. You can choose between all these different time frames. Whatever time frame you choose, it will represent the price data within that period on each candle. If you pick the 5M chart, it would be 5 minutes worth of price data on each candle. If you pick the 15M chart, it would be 50 minutes worth of price data on each candle. 
If you pick the one hour chart, each candle represents 60 minutes of price action, and the four hour chart represents 240 minutes of price action per candle. The daily or D1 chart represents a whole day worth of price movement per candle. I like to use the higher time frames for our analysis because it is easier to predict the future price movements of the market when you see the bigger picture and it is less time consuming. The next thing I want to talk about is the exchange rate. The exchange rate is the price. Wherever the price is currently at, it is the exchange rate. You can change your one currency against the other. Let me give you an example in the euro against the US dollar. In this case, we would say the exchange rate of the euro against the US dollar is 1.11088. You can see this on the right side of the screen. And you can call this number price if you like, but it's just the exchange rate. Next thing I want to talk about is price in points, aka pips. Price in points represents how much movement the market is making. Pips are a way of calculating market movement. Let me give an example on the euro US dollar. The move I have highlighted is a 100 pip move. So whenever you hear the word pips, it means we are talking about the market movement. You're going to learn how to calculate that all in another lesson. All right, next thing I want to talk about is spread. Spread is the distance between the bid and the ask price of a currency. As Forex is so liquid and so active because of all the market participants who are constantly buying and selling, there is never going to be an exact price. The way brokers get around this is by giving you a spread. That means there is a bid and an ask price for buy and sell orders. And the real price is somewhere in between those prices. And these zones are moving constantly depending on the amount of orders that are coming in. If it is a very liquid session, the spread is typically closer, so you probably get closer to the exact price. We as traders, we want the spread as small as possible because when the spread is smaller, you can get a more accurate price. The broker will always give you the worst price to be safe, so when the actual price is somewhere around 1.11072, like in this example, your broker will probably give you the worst price of 1.111 if you buy. Or your broker give you the worst price of 1.1105 if you sell this market. The more liquid the market is, the closer these bid and ask lines are. And the more accurate is the price that you are going to get from your broker. And this is what you want. You want to have the spread as small as possible. Next thing I want to talk about is trends. We are going to talk more about trends in the market structure lesson in this course. But let me give you the absolute basics about trends. If the market is moving upwards, we call it uptrend, and it looks like that. If the market is moving sideways, we call it flat or consolidation or range, and it looks like that. If the market is moving downwards, we call it downtrend, and it looks like that. The market is always moving in these three different trends, up, down, or sideways. And that's it. Next thing I want to talk about is price levels. Price levels are essentially the areas that price interacts with on the chart. And we are going to talk a lot about price levels in another lesson, but let me give you a quick overview of what I mean by that. Price levels are the areas on the chart where price has bounced off of in the past. With this knowledge, we try to predict the future price movements of the market. I'll, I like to highlight these areas with a box or a horizontal line, like in this example. As you can see, whenever price came into that area, it got rejected and bounced several times in a row. Levels like that help us to make a trading decision. We are going to dive deeper into this topic in another lesson. Next thing I want to talk about is buying and selling. There are two types of trades you can make whenever you trade the forex market. The first type of trade is a buy order and the second type of trade is a sell order. Whenever you buy, you buy because you think the markets are going to go up so you would enter a so-called long position to participate in an upward move. You can use the tool called long position on trading view to prepare your long positions with the profit target and stop loss target to see the potential risk reward and stuff like that. Same thing with a short position when you want to sell the market. You can use the tool called short position on the trading view platform to plan your trade. And that's all you need to know for now. We have a buy order and a sell order long and short however you want to call it. 
there are only these two types of trades next thing I want to talk about is the broker and the broker is the middleman that connects you to the financial market you need a broker in order to execute trades and to make money with forex trading there are many different kinds of brokers and we are going to talk about them in another lesson the broker is a good thing because it gives you the ability to save time because you don't have to run to the exchange counter at the airport to trade the currencies you can you can simply do it online from your smartphone or computer with only one click and the broker executes your trades and connects you to the intermarket of forex so you can put your money into the market and pull your money out of the market in fractals of a second and that's it thank you for your time see you in the next video peace